Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen Amma ba'd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu Ida nudiya li salati min yawmil jumati Fas'aw ila dhikrillahi wa dharul bay' Thalikum khayrul lakum in kuntum ta'lamun O you who have believed when the Adhan is called for the prayer on the day of Jummah, then proceed to the remembrance of Allah and leave the tra trade. This is better for you if you only knew. My dear brothers, and I'm sure there are sisters listening too, today is Jummah, but not the Jummah that we know since we were all children growing up. Today is not the Jummah that we come to know. It is a Juma without the Jama'a. And where is the Jama'a? You know, sometimes we make excuses in life for everything when it comes to Ibadah. When it comes to sometimes even Friday prayer, the daily prayer, we have excuses. I'm busy, I have meeting. But we should know or what we are going through right now should really teach us that Allah is not in need of our ibadah. Allah is the Samad. Kul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu Samad. And the Samad is the self-sufficient. He is not in need of everything while everything is in need of Him. It is us who need worship. It is us who need to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to do this ibadat. And because of our powerlessness, because of our inability, it makes us dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Strength comes from worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فِطْرَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي فَطَرَ النَّاسَ عَلَيْهَا لَا تَبَدِيلَ لِخُلْقِ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ So direct your face towards the religion inclining to truth. Adhere to the fitrah of Allah upon which he created all people. No change should there be in the creation of Allah. That is the correct religion, but most of the people do not know. Imam al qurtabi he wants us, he brings out a very interesting point when he talks about ibadah. He said the root of ibadah is humility and submissiveness. And I use this quote here because we live in a world where Sometimes with the, you know, the, the, the busyness of life, we do our ibadah in very mechanical fashion. And he said the root of ibadah is humility and submissiveness. The various duties that have been prescribed upon the people are called ibadat since what is required is that these acts of worship must be done with humility and submissiveness to Allah. Let us think about today, how many masajid are empty. Some of them, there is adhan but no ikama. How many thousands, if not millions of member are there but without a khatib? Millions of masajid are there but without musallin. Allah. let us ask ourselves a few questions. Have we done our worship to Allah properly? Now that we, he slows us down. And all of these places have become empty. And we are placed in our homes. Let us ask ourselves, have we done our worship 
to Allah properly? Have we directed our faces to the religion, inclining to the truth? Have we surrendered to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Has this deen governed our lives? Today it is hope that it will be a day of sorrow and repentance. As Friday comes, we all know that as children we grow up with that joy of the day of Juma. Nice things happen on the day of Juma. And as we grow up and we learn of the spiritual joys of the day of Juma, we come to embrace this day with so much of happiness in our soul. This is the time when we should take to do our own prayer, our own dua in our homes. We must raise our voices with the takbir, istighfar, and submitting to Allah using the blessings that Yawmul Jum'ah comes when there is a special moment to make dua for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, our streets are empty. Our stores are empty. Now is the time we have to reflect on the mercy of Allah. In our busy life, it is one after the other activity. Now all comes to a halt. All of this comes to a halt. Some of our brothers from different states like California, that day, it's a lockdown. And imagine big cities like Los Angeles, um, different parts of like Bay Area, all of these are so busy city that they never sleep. New York, these are cities that never sleep. But here it is today that they all come to a halt. Allah tells us, Inna ma dunya kama in anzalnahu min asama. Fakhtalata bihi nabatul ardi mimma yakulun nasu wal anam. Hatta ida akhadatil ardu zukhrufaha was zayyanat wadanna ahluha annahum kadirun alayha. Ataha amruna laylan au nahara. فَجَعَلْنَاهَا حَصِيرًا كَأَنْ لَمْ تَغْنَ بِالْأَمْسِ كَذَلِكَ نُفَصِّلُ الْآيَاتِ لِكَوْمِ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ The example of this worldly life, the example of this worldly life is nothing but like rain which we have sent down from the sky that the plants of the earth absorb those from which men and livestock eat until when the earth has taken on its adornment and it's beautified and its people suppose that they have capability over it like how we find big nations they feel they have capability over this earth how many nations have shown their capability, their military might, their military strength, their financial strength, their economic power. How many nations have done that? And Allah says, they, you know, when this happens and they feel they have the capability over this earth, there comes to it our command by night or by day. And we make it as a harvest, as if it had not flourished yesterday. Thus do we explain in detail the signs for a people who give thought. So what is happening now, my dear brothers and sisters, is a moment for us to think how life is and it can come to a screeching halt as if it had not flourished yesterday. Yesterday does not literally mean 
yesterday, Thursday, but even in our current circumstance in which we are in right now, it can very well be Thursday because Thursday, people can still move around in some of the cities. Friday, they cannot move as if it comes as if they had not flourished yesterday. Brothers and sisters, Allah does not need our worship. The magnitude of his creation, he tells us about it. The seven heavens and the earth and whatever is in them glorify him. They praise him. They do tasbih to him. And there is not a thing except it does tasbih to Allah by his praise. But you do not understand their way of giving that tasbih. Indeed, he is the Halim and the Ghafoor. He is ever forbearing and forgiving. Prophet ﷺ mentions how Allah is glorified. So if our masajid is closed, don't think that the glorification of Allah stops. It is us who are being stopped and we should take note why is it that we are being stopped. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting with some companions and he says, Inni ara ma la taroon wa asma'u ma la tasma'oon attati sama wa huqqa laha an ta'it ma fiha mawdi'u arba'i asabi'a illa malakun wadi'un jabhatahu sajidan lillah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily, I see what you do not see, and I hear what you do not hear. The heaven is creaking, and it should creak. It has all right to creak. There is no space in the width of four fingers, but there is an angel there praising placing his forehead in prostration to Allah. Let us just think of this hadith for a moment. That our masajid are closed most places. Masajid are closed today. But this does not stop Allah from being glorified. This does not stop Allah from being praised. For angels are praising him. And there isn't a space in the heavens except that angels are putting their head down in prostration to Allah. So if we fail about Allah, don't think that in any way this will decrease the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in the hadith of Isra and Mi'raj when he went to the heaven فَرُفِ Ali الْبَيْتُ الْمَأْمُورِ فَسَأَلْتُ جِبْرِيلِ فَقَالْ هَذَا الْبَيْتُ الْمَأْمُورِ يُصَلِّ فِيهِ كُلَّ يَوْمٍ سَبْعُونَ أَلْفَ مَلَكٍ إِذَا خَرَجُوا لَمْ يَعُودُوا إِلَيْهِ آخِرَ مَا عَلَيْهِمْ in the night journey, Prophet Sallallahu said then, the Baytul Ma'mur or the much frequent house was raised up for me. And I asked Jibra'il Alayhi Salam, he said, this is the Baytul Ma'mur or the most frequented house. Every day, 70,000 angels enter it. And when they depart from it, they never return it to it again. So while our Kaaba on this earth also comes to a halt, 
when the two haram also comes to a halt, know that the Baitul Mahmur and the angels that go around glorifying Allah and praising Allah, they do not come to a halt. In another description of it, Namasud, call in the Fisama what is sub lessama on fiha mode o shibrin ma fiha mode o shibrin illa wa alayhi jabha to malik malak o kadamahu ko iman summa koraa wa inna la nahnu safoon wa inna la nahnu musabihoon. This is in the tafsir of Imam at Tabari, where Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu an said, Among the heaven is one, one of those heaven where there is no space the side of a handspan, but on it there is the forehead of an angel or his foot standing there. Either he is in Qiyam or he is in Sujood. Then he recited the verse. وَإِنَّا لَنَحْنُ الصَّافُونَ وَإِنَّا لَنَحْنُ الْمُسَبِّحُونَ That verily we the angels stand in rows for prayers and verily we the angels are they who glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my dear brothers and sisters, our empty houses, our empty streets, our empty Masajid, whatever it is, it will not stop Allah from being glorified. It is us who are losing out. And with the emptiness, it's time to fill with tawbah. But whosoever repents after his crime and does righteous good deeds by obeying Allah, then Allah will pardon him, accept his repentance, for Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. About Allah, Allah is most forgiving and most generous to his slaves, and he commands us, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu, Tubu illallahi tawbatan nasuha asa rabbukum ayyukafira ankum sayyatikum wa yudkhilakum jannatin tajri min tahtiha al anhar. O you who believe, turn to Allah with sincere repentance. It may be that your Lord would expiate from you your sin, wipe away from you your sins and admit you into gardens upon which rivers flow. Nastaghfiruka Allahumma wa natubu ilayk. Allah also says, Wa atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul. Fa in tawallaytum fa innama ala rasulina al-balaghu al-mubin. Allahu la ilaha illahu. Wa ala Allahi fal yatawakkal al-mu'minun. And obey Allah and obey the messenger. But if you turn away, then upon our messenger is only the duty to clarify, to give the message. And Allah, there is no God except him. Upon Allah, let the believers put their trust. And so my dear brothers and sisters, while our masajid are empty, let us take the opportunity in our home more than anything else to lift our hand in dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Rahmataka narju fala takilna ila anfusina tarfata ayn. Wa aslih lana sha'nana kullahu ya arhamar rahimin. That, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, your mercy we need. So do not leave us even for a moment to ourselves, but take care of our affairs, Ya Allah. Ya Rabb, laysa lana rabbun sewa ka nad'u. O oh Lord, we do not have any other Lord beside you to whom we can stretch our hands and make dua to, Ya Allah. وَلَيْسَ لَنَا إِلَهٌ سِوَاكَ نَرْجُو We do not have any God beside you that we can have hope in. وَلَيْسَ لَنَا مَلْجَأٌ مِنْكَ إِلَّا إِلَيْكَ There is no refuge in anyone except you. اللهم لا تردنا خائبين ولا من رحمتك محرومين او الله do not send us back empty handed او الله do not deprive us from your mercy اللهم ارفع باسك عنا وعن المسلمين يا رب العالمين اللهم ارفع بأسك عنا وعن المسلمين يا رب العالمين اللهم ارفع بأسك عنا وعن المسلمين يا رب العالمين او الله remove this calamity from us and from all the muslims all believers او الله the lord of all اللهم ردنا اليك ردا جميلا O oh Allah, let us return to you with the most beautiful returning. Allahumma inna ka'afoon tihibbu l'afwa fa'afu anna. O oh Allah, you are the partner, you love to pardon. So pardon us. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alih wa sahbihi wa sallim tasliman kathira. Allahumma ameen. My dear brothers and sisters, this is not really a time other than ourselves to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our connection to Allah is what will save us and bring us into this situation successful. Either we get saved from this calamity, Allah saves us from this calamity, or Allah will make us shuhada from this calamity. If we have sabr, a believer who dies in such a calamity like a plague, a epidemic, pandemic, know that if he has sabr and he dies in that situation, that he dies as a state of shaheed. I know we do not want to put ourselves in any danger, but we prepare ourselves that whatever comes our way, that these are things that are written before us. We must not feel despair in the hope of Allah. We continue to have the hope of Allah, and either way it will be victory for us, Billy. Oh, oh. It will be victorious for us and success for us if we die and return to Allah, we die as shohada, as a shaheed. And if we live on, we live on for another day to glorify Allah and to learn from the lessons of what we are going through right now. This is not the time to be disappointed in Allah in any way. This is a time that we support each other. We care for each other. We are in our homes. Let us make dua for our brothers and sisters, particularly in Ikna. 
much has gone for the past few weeks and for the next coming weeks that we had all the plans. We planned for 25,000 people. And here it is, we will not get 25 people. This is the power of Allah. And we must not give up. We must use this opportunity to support our brothers and sisters. Make dua for them as the minimum what we can do. Call upon them and share our moments of concern with each other. Let this not be a mechanical process because we do not know if this plague, if this epidemic, if this pandemic will wipe us out or by the mercy of Allah, we will be saved and be successful to do dawah and to work for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for another day. So we take these opportunities to uh, share our thoughts with each other. And may Allah bless, bless our Amir and the brothers who have thought about having a, a discussion, some thought process on this day of Juma. That while our masajid is empty, our souls must be filled. Let us take the opportunity to fill our souls with true tawbah, with true understanding of what is going on. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all, protect us all, protect our family and this Muslim ummah.